Hello, it's Jules de Groot again with the fifth of my video casts, and this week I wanted to talk about growth versus fixed mindset. Um, and uh, it's really along a continuum with some of the video casts I've done previously, particularly about um, mindful meditation uh, and the journey I said to you about the fork in the road and trying to see things in a slightly different way, and then leading on from that, the resili uh, the um, reframing idea. So really it's building on that um, and again there are lots of authors about uh, resilience and growth versus fixed mindset. Um, one of the most famous is a woman called Carol Dweck and um, I hope you might find it interesting to look her up, um, not only for yourselves actually but for your children. So her research is really around, around the idea of um, the journey being the fixed, being the thing that helps the most. So in the sense of it's the goal um, and it's the journey of getting to the goal rather than just the goal in and of itself. So the learning is about the journey and the growing is about the journey. So her example is primarily around children. And what we talk about is children only trying to reach goals um, and when us teaching them, they only do well if they reach a goal. Um, which can be helpful, but on the other hand, um, what the journey is the important thing that informs you along the way and helps you develop and then look back and see sees what you can change. So um, another proponent of this is uh, a book called Champions um, Comeback. And that's a, um, a book that is um, talking about primarily sports people um, Johnny Wilkinson will probably read one of the most famous um, that you will know of. Um, and he talks about always having the goal every day of uh, achieving 100 kicks at, 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 at the rugby posts. When actually, um, when he had broke his leg and was out of rugby for a long time and then played for France, what he had to start to learn is just the idea of getting, getting out on the pitch was the first thing and then having a go. So in a sense uh, of reframing his life, reframing, so taking back what he'd set himself as the goal, the fixed goal of 100 kicks every day, and he couldn't go in until he'd achieved that, to something you might say less than, but, but the point is it's something that's achievable that then he can build on. So um, Churchill has a famous saying uh, that success is the ability to go from one failure to another, uh, with no loss of enthusiasm along the way. And um, that the point for that is, is um, in a sense, getting up, having a go again. But, but what can you learn from the previous thing that you might apply the next time around? Um, and, then, and then acknowledging that that is a good thing to do and not a failure because you haven't achieved the goal. Um, so, in work, for example, um, if we set something new or if we take the current um, point at uh, current time at the moment, uh, when we're starting to learn to go back to work um, in the sense of, and I use the word learn in the sense of um, going back to work in a different way. So if we feel anxious about going back to work, are we applying the same principles that we had before in the same setting um, and engaging and being present in the same way? Or are we able to think that there may be different ways of doing it? Sometimes working from home, sometimes um, using our Skype, but then sometimes uh, enabling us to be perhaps on a rotated basis in the office uh, where we can engage in some of those meetings we used to have and do that constructive uh, work, which, which um, and where's the balance of the constructive work and how does that happen? Does it happen at home or is it, does it have to be in work? Is it helpful to be in work but keeping social distancing? So applying a different model to what we used to do um, and perhaps in some ways doing different things in different ways. And I think they're all growth questions. They're like open questions. Um, so uh, this work is really challenging and it's too hard, so I don't think I can do it. Or is it, this work is really challenging, but can I have a go? Um, and, and what strengths do I have that I can contribute to um, this being different? 
um, and how can I collaborate with others or um, uh, should I try a different strategy um, as opposed to I'm never going to I'm never going to be able to get this so and I think one of the difficulties for all of us um, and I again put myself in that frame as well is thinking in a fixed way I can't do this or what if this and when one is anxious that often happens more so if people in your teams if you're a manager or both people yourselves are anxious um, about return to work because um, what we know about the current situation is they're trying to flatten the curve to help the NHS um, so that what will that mean for all of us what will that mean for people we live with what will that mean uh, for our children all those things if we if we and and applying that to our return to work or to our home situation when we go out um, to um, shops or uh, get things or and get you know with our families because a lot of us haven't been able to see our families how does that work will it be able to work and how can we how can we take the guidelines and make it work for us and try and think in an open way rather than feeling it's all it won't work and it, it, it and it's going to be awful or you know any of those kind of things so um it's about trying to think of it in a way uh, that isn't a fixed way that is a an open way and allows ideas to flow in um, rather than feeling immediately um, that can't happen and it and it won't be okay um, and I think that leads on from anxiety and often when people are anxious they get into this fixed mindset because it helps them feel they can try and control their anxiety and um, actually uh, trying to be open will help us get through it so um, I hope I've explained that enough uh, it's 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 not so much a difficult concept but I think it's really about examining how we how we think really and uh, and that's part of the human condition part of the human condition is have I always done it this way is there another way I can do it that might be better and and we all have to think about those things about ourselves you know in our, our professional practice um, uh, our, you know we're required to do it as clinicians all the time have I done my best for this person have I done what I always do have I adapted to them have I changed to their circumstance have I done everything I reasonably can um, it's part of our code of practice and many of you you know will will automatically manage those kind of things in your life so it's really it's really trying to kind of think about those concepts and keep them with you um, okay so that's the end of my uh, video cast day and hopefully some things to think about and look up. So that's growth versus fixed mindset. And um, uh, my next one will be again on a continuum and that will be thinking about worries, constructive worries, not so constructive worries, those kind of things. All right. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care and very best wishes. Thank you.